Welcome back to your next tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're we'll doing um, a little bit of file splitting, and we're we'll making something called a super header. It's mostly self-explanatory. So we go to add new file, super header. Obviously, it's going to be a header file. What type? Uh, what would the name be? We will just be as blank about this as possible and type in super header. Right? Save. Click all, finish. Now, what will this super header do, you may ask? I know that sounded really sarcastic, but who cares? This will include all of our um, external files, so we don't have to include all of this. Like for draw all or draw cube, you know, we don't know which one uses windows.h and which one uses gl. We'll be basically make one giant super header that includes all of the old files so uh, all of the other files so without further ado let's get going first thing uh, we're going to include gl says gl.h uh, next we'll include gl says glu.h and I don't know if every computer has this I know mine do both of them so I'm guessing every windows computer has them Probably Mac and Linux too. Include IO stream, and I'm sure all of you know what this IO stream file is. It's really simple. Include math.h. That's for sine and cosine. Include string, and I don't know if that's necessary. I'm sure there's already string objects in IO stream. Just include it include windows dot h and again if you're not using windows system I don't know how to help you with this windows x dot h and that has some more stuff that windows does not have and I know every computer has both of these windows computers have both of these I'm sure they all windows computer has all of these and last but not least if this comes to a surprise to you you can use namespaces and header files too using namespace std standard now what we're going to do with this is we're going to open up all of these save and all you have to do is go to here and just include super header right so it has everything if you want to do C out, no problem. We already included super header. Um, if you wanted to do something with math, no problem. I already have super header. And you can already tell how useful this is going to be. So in here, include super header dot h and in here include Super header dot h and notice one more thing notice that I didn't include our header files in super, super header and I'll be going over that real fast once I get all of this include super header dot h include super header dot h this is a really fun thing to do with your friends include um, super header dot h in fact you know what I'll do I'll just copy um, paste paste and we're done that is my dog if you can hear him so we have all of that and main okay run it you know it's okay it's recompiling all of our files that is normal and you see we still have our cube woo we didn't break anything so now we have a super header will allow us to do more things and if we wanted to add another file all you have to do this and that comes to the expense that everything else will have to recompile which will come to my next point why didn't we include these in our super header and the reason is because if we wanted to change draw.h or add a new method, 
we would have to recompile all our files and only that but there's errors when you have draw.h that includes superheader.h that also includes this that includes this that includes this and it just it, it's not that great so the only reason we have superheader is for all of our external files the ones we didn't make and of course using namespace std one more thing and here I forgot to tell you guys well first off you can get rid of that make sure you have your header declaration in between define and end if just like everything else so include super header dot h right same for draw get rid of that and you're going to want to yet again include include superheader.h here include superheader.h and there's one more thing I have to talk to you guys about I promise is the last thing about this superheader um, for main if you already have files like if you already have h files that we made you can get rid of this superheader I'm thinking, wait, why? Then what was the whole point of having a super header? I'll show you. Draw dot age, in case you didn't see, already includes super header. So we're just going to be increasing file size by continuously including super header. And I don't know if that's entirely true, but just go through all your files, see, get you can get rid of the super header if you already have but every other file make sure it includes super header just in case and yep yeah, so we're done run it and oh it gives you a problem um I'm not entirely oh okay sorry we, we have to get rid of this one not draw that age duh that's why we give him this problem and there you go now there's a real quick tutorial about super headers this tutorial will probably be taking it up a notch by making our own game engine. Ooh, wonderful. Until then, see you later.